Hello, uh, namaste. I'm going to show you how to select a procrastinator listing in the Sirius software. In the Sirius software, we often use the timeline format. The nice thing about the time timeline format is it's very visual. You can see all the aspects that are going on at one time. Uh, but as with anything, there are trade-offs. The, 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 you might say, problem or limitation of the uh, timeline is that it takes up a lot of room on your on your computer screen because you have this visualization and sometimes you just want a nice compact listing especially if you're looking at things over a long period of time and you want to see what kind of pattern is going on um, and that's just not going to be possible with with a visual graphic display so I'm going to show you uh, an example of a case where that listing is useful and I'm going to do something a little bit different from the usual I'm going to show you a tertiary progressed to natal listing. Tertiary means day for a month. More common, we have the day for a year. Solar arc directions are also popular. But just to show you, you know, how you can do unusual things. And furthermore, we're going to produce an unusual listing. Instead of doing all of the planets, I'm going to look at just the sun and moon. Um, uh, and only conjunctions and oppositions. Uh, to see if there's a certain pattern. I was told that the tertiary progressed moon is conjunct the natal moon every two years. Uh, that would be kind of an interesting uh, cycle every two years this, this would be happening. Uh, so let's see if it's true and, and let's look at it uh, for an individual. Let's go ahead and select it. So how do we select a progressed to natal listing in, in the Sirius software? Select progressed to natal listing. <laughs> I mean that part is, is fairly simple. There are some things that that are not so intuitively obvious uh, as we do this, but the basic idea, it's fairly straightforward. You select progestinatal listing, um, and then basically two things will happen. One is you're going to select the kind of progression. Do you want a tertiary progression, secondary progression, solar arc? What kind of progression? And then secondly, what planets and aspects do you want? Uh, and we're going to do a third thing, which is how to customize it. Once we've customized it, uh, it'll be customized with what we want, so we won't have to keep customizing it in the future. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's select a progressive listing. Okay, here's Julia Roberts, the actress, and let's look at um, her tertiary progressed moon to natal moon uh, conjunctions and oppositions. How do we do it? I want that listing. Uh, well, we select forecast because it's a kind of forecast. And we have all these kinds of forecasts, so I want some kind of progressed to natal listing. The point I'm trying to make here is, if you use common sense, okay, it's a forecast, it's a listing, well, here's something progressed text listing, ah, progressed to natal, so there it is. So it's about in the middle of this list, progressed text listing, progressed to natal. Now, when we select this, two things are going to be happen. We're going to be asked what kind of progression we want, and then we're going to ask what kind of listing we want. So I select this, and it tells me I don't have any progressions yet. I need to select the kind of progression. And I click OK, and it takes me into the window to create a progress chart. So this is maybe not so intuitively obvious, but Sirius is going to insist on creating a progressed chart to, to produce the progress listing. So I check the kind of progressed charts I want and I select tertiary. I don't need secondary so I will unselect that. And I'll just do a tertiary progression. And it's going to do it for June 7, 2014. Now this is also perhaps maybe not completely obvious, but for my purposes right now the date does not matter. I happen to be making this video on June 7, 2014 so it defaults to today's date. But when I produce the listing it will ask me for the date. So I don't really care what this date is. Uh, today's date is fine. And that may not have been intuitively obvious if your goal is to produce a text listing, but now you know, just any date is fine. Um, and there are other options. Do I want to relocate it? What kind of progression? Progress midheaven do I want, etc. And progress houses. Uh, I'll just accept the default. Click OK. And now it's confirming that I want this progress chart. Uh, it may seem silly that it's confirming this. I've already told it, but it's giving the option to create a different progress chart and to make it clear that you're doing tertiary. Um, so if I click on this create a new progress chart, 
I could go back and say, oh, gee, you know what, I also want the secondary or the solar arc, whatever. Um, this is not what I want, but it is what I want, um, so I will just click OK, select the highlighted chart. And I finish step one. I've told Sirius what kind of progression I want. Now, the second step is what planets and aspects do I want. So I check this box, the only box available, progress to natal, and I have different choices. Regular planets, regular planets, no birth time means no ascendant mid-heaven, just sun through Pluto, uh, planets plus Chiron. Now this one, by default, says regular plus asteroids, but I've already customized it to say sun, moon, and at this next menu level, I've customized this to say exact only, and I'll show you how I did that. But this would be um, where I'm doing only sun and moon, and exact only. Uh, so I select this. Now how did I customize it? Well, it's the usual thing in Sirius. After you select something, there's usually a customize button. And there it is. Customize the highlighter report. So now I can tell it I want just uh, the progress moon and natal moon and just conjunctions and oppositions. So I click on this. And here's all my customizing. Now I've set it to just moon. I'm going to set it to sun and moon first. Um, but by default, you know, it's going to have all these guys checked. I've already customized this uh, before I started making this tutorial video to step through it and make sure I didn't stumble on my words. Um, so I already customized it, and this would have all these guys selected. And you would just uncheck them. So you uncheck and get just what you want. And the same thing for aspects. I've only, uh, by default, it probably has something like that, and you uncheck it. And then uh, you can have the houses and sign uh, of the planets. I don't want that. You can have midpoints and all kinds of fancy things like composite chart. <clears throat> I'm not checking any of those. Uh, back here on planets, by the way, you have a choice of planets for your planet-to-planet -planet aspects, and you could have different planets for things like your midpoints and composites and so on. It doesn't matter what I have checked here because I'm not doing midpoints and composites. I'm only doing planet-to-planet -planet because I don't have midpoints checked here. Um, and that's it. Now here's where I change the menu item. Uh, this is, you know, by default this said something like enter exact leave, something like that, and I just change it to sun, moon, because I've decided over here with my planets, clicking on the planets tab, let's look at sun and moon. Uh, I'll show you why. I'm going to do sun and moon first, uh, and then I'll reduce it to just moon. And I change this to exact only. And there are other things like the dates, times, uh, where I select exact only, because I don't really want to see when it begins and ends. If you want to, you would select this, but I've changed it to this. So, some of the important tabs, planets tab. You want to select the planets. Aspects tab. What aspects do you want? And again, if you're doing fancy things like midpoints and composite aspects, you can have your own settings for that. Typically, a, a typical example is you want only conjunctions and oppositions for midpoints, but you want all aspects between the planets. So you have that flexibility. These are things we're not doing right now. We're just, we're just doing planet to planet. So you got your planets, your aspects. Uh, do you want enter exact leave or just exact only and then a little advanced feature you might say where you can label the menu item so when you come back to this later you don't have to remember oh it's planets plus asteroids it says sun moon uh, or whatever you want to call it so I click OK for my customizing and it saves it that's it uh, now I just tell it what date let's do it for uh, 10 years I'll start January 1st 2010 I can do it for day, months, years. I'll do it for 10 years. So that's why the date of the progress chart doesn't matter, because here's where I tell it when to begin and end. And I click OK, and it will produce the listing. And we'll see, you know, sometimes you produce the listing and you realize that, oh, I still have this checked, or, I, you know, I, I didn't remove this planet. Um, you know, it doesn't you might have missed something. Um, so you can look at your listing and see if it looks correct. And if, uh, That's why I selected Sun. I wanted to do something I really don't want. 
and I'm going to show you how I'll, I'll change that. But here I've got my listing, Tropical Coke. I'm not using houses, so the house system doesn't matter. January 1st, 2010, confirming its tertiary progression up there. Here are the planets selected. Uh, natal sun and moon, progressed sun and moon. Gives their positions at the starting date, um, which I don't really care about right now. But there's my listing. Um, and because I selected sun, it's kind of getting in my way. Um, moon, conjunct moon, September 24, 2010. Where's the next moon conjunct moon? Down here, October 8th, 2012. It does look like it's every two years. I can find the next one. But instead of having to browse through this listing to keep finding them, I'm realizing it's inconvenient that I selected the sun. Although it is, inter it is interesting that out of the ten years, the tertiary progressed sun is conjunct natal moon only once on March 3rd, 2017. If these tertiary progressions are really important and these lunar sun-moon uh, aspects are especially important, which would make sense, it's day, day is based on the sun, for a month, which is um, how long it takes the moon to, to return. So maybe the sun and moon are especially important in tertiary progressions. Uh, this could be a very interesting listing for checking out it, if these key dates um, are important. But if I want to look at only the moon, uh, I want to change this, and I want to show you uh, how you do that, because sometimes people say, oh no, it's not exactly what I want. Uh, well, you can customize very quickly. Just right-click, the typical thing in Sirius, right-click anywhere on there. It shows you what you've selected. Click on Customize, uncheck the Progress Sun, uncheck the Natal Sun, click OK, click OK, click OK, and you're done. <clears throat> so. A lot of times we're playing around with something, changing what the planets are, changing what the aspects are, or we forgot to uncheck something, or forgot to check something. So you don't have to worry. Just right-click, click, go to Customize, do it again, and your listing will be produced. Um, you notice it takes a little while to do that 10 years of calculations. Now I have a nice, quick listing um, with just my conjunctions and oppositions. And the pattern I was told about is there. This is interesting. Um, September 2010, tertiary progressed moon, conjunct natal moon. One year later, slightly less than a year later, progressed moon is opposite moon. So it goes from conjunction to opposition every year. So two years later, I've got the conjunction again, and then on October 8th. And going from 2010 to 2019, we started in late September, um, and now it's late November. So it, the the moon changes speeds, and given the speed at this time, it's uh, taking slightly over a year on average during these ten years. Um, so it is true. Uh, the moon, the tertiary progressed moon is conjunct natal moon uh, every two years. That means if I include oppositions, every year I get one of these moon alignments, conjunction, opposition. Very interesting pattern. We could, You could run this for yourself and see if those dates each year you know, is it some kind of uh, revitalization or new start with your attitudes, maybe? Um, who knows? Um, but now you've got that information. You can, you can check it out. So we've done it. I've shown you how to select a progressed to natal listing um, and how to customize it to do something that's a little bit interesting. Now, I'm going to show you one more thing. I, I've already achieved my main goal, which is to show you how to produce the listing. But now I want to show you something else, which is, what if you wanted to see the chart on these dates? Um, you know, uh, say a by wheel would be nice to see all the details of what's going on. So to do that, um, what you can do <clears throat> is select the interactive by wheel. Uh, so you can do it from either, uh, I've got two charts for Julia right now. Let me, let me close this window. Just get rid of that to, to show, to just simplify this. So we're just looking at the wheel. Um, I got her natal chart, chart number one, and it's created a progress chart for me. Uh, as we noticed when we made the selection, there's her progress chart. Now from either chart, I'll just do it from the natal chart, doesn't matter. 
we can do the interactive uh, NATO progressed uh, flywheel. It kind of makes sense to go to the NATO because you're going to manipulate this NATO chart. And we're going to go to the multi wheels and tell it we want, we have four kinds of multi wheels NATO transit, NATO progressed, a tri wheel, NATO progressed transit, and a quad wheel, which could be a NATO two progressions and a transit, or a NATO progressed sole return and transit. Let's just do the by wheel, NATO progressed. So I select the animation, and there's an animated by wheel. It's fun because you can do things like change it from by wheel to two separate wheels. Now I can see it as two separate wheels. Now I can go back to the by wheel. <clears throat> uh, I can change the style of the by wheel. This is the own, what we call own cusps, where each ring has its own house cusp uh, right here. Um, select different wheel styles. Anyway, so it's it's nice, and you can select the kind of progression. Um, so here it is with uh, day for a year, and I don't have to create a new chart wheel. It just it, so I can. Uh, I'm interested in day for a month, also known as tertiary, and there it is. Um, so now I could change the date here to jump to one of those dates, and I've saved those dates and I put it in my PowerPoint. Here's my PowerPoint, which I've done all this. How to, I selected the progression. Um, I selected regular plus asteroids. I customized it. I ran it for 10 years. Oh, typo there. It started January 1st, 2010. And there was my listing. So let's, um, and you could, you know, save that listing. Uh, and and uh, I can show you that. In a, I've shown it in other videos how you save a listing uh, very quickly and have it to refer to. But I've got it here. Let's go to October 23rd, 2014. Moon is supposed to be conjunct moon. Tertiary progress moon, conjunct natal moon, October 23rd, 2014. So I'll put in here October 23rd, 2014. Apply the date. And here's her natal moon. 24 Leo 47. And there it is. 24 Leo 41. Tertiary progress moon, conjunct natal moon. So now we see it in the by wheel. And I could move this forward an hour at a time, one hour, and we see this 24.42, go forward another hour, 24.43. So I can adjust this exact to exactly when it's the same at 24.47. I don't really need to because these are other things are not moving over an hour of time. So there it is. And I can, you know, now I've got a by wheel in case I want to see what the rulers of the houses are and other details at that moment. And I could do another date. Let's do one more. Let's do the following year. October 14, 2015, moon opposite moon. October 14, 2015. Apply the date. And there's the progressed moon <clears throat> at 24 Aquarius 42 opposite the natal moon. And again, I could use the time adjust to make it exact, but there really isn't any point because things are not moving over that sh short time period. Um, and I have the by wheel. So I just want to show you that how you can bring up the by wheel for those dates uh, and see what's going on. Uh, so I'll exit out of it. And we're done. And I'm just going to show you one more thing. <clears throat> we're, we're really done. But some of you are aware of the time adjust. And in case you're aware of it, um, I just want to confirm that you can also do this with time adjust. Uh, you can time adjust anything. Like here's, he, uh, by anything I mean an astro map, a listing. Uh, I've used the time adjust in many of the other videos we're looking at. Uh, you know, fixed stars and whether they're on the horizon or not, we time adjust it. And, you know, we use time adjust all the time just to see how things change over time. Um, so I can time adjust this progress chart, uh, which is right here, and um, I can enter a date here as well. Um, uh, what was those date? October. Let me go back to my PowerPoint. <coughs> Excuse me. October 14, 2015. October is one of those dates. 2015. Apply the date. And there's a um, 
progressed. Here's oh, I'm on her natal chart. Duh! I don't want to be. Well, I, this is fun to show you. I can be adjusting your natal chart. Cancel out of it. I want to be on her progress chart. Go to the tertiary progression. Go to time adjust. Uh, interactive chart adjust is the little hint that pops up. And change this to October 14. October 14, 2015. I think that was the date. Apply the date. And now I'm doing the tertiary progression for that date. And there's the moon, 24 Aquarius 39. Might be more useful to see this in a by wheel. So I could do that. But I'm just showing you how, how you can use the time adjust with any chart, whether it's a natal chart, progress chart. I'll cancel out. But with the time adjust, you have to select what it is you want to adjust. So I could select a by wheel with Julia Natal in the middle, the progressed in the outside. Click OK, click OK. <clears throat> now I have a by wheel and I could time adjust the by wheel. Uh, but I need to be on the progress chart, as we just noticed, um, because this is the chart I'm adjusting. Even though I'm in a by wheel, I could adjust the inner ring if I, if I do it from the inner ring or the outer ring. I'm on, I'm on this chart. The tertiary progressed. I select the time adjust. I put in that date, which if I remember right was October 14, 2015. Apply the date. Um, and there it is. Progressed moon, 24 Aquarius 39. Opposite the natal moon of 24 Leo 47. I can adjust it by hours if I want to see it exact. So anyway, I just want to show you that you can also use the time adjust. Um, it's something that a lot of us uh, of you use, a lot of serious users um, use the time adjust. I use it all the time. It's wonderful. And you can use it for this purpose as well. It works very nicely. And a nice thing about the time adjust is that it also has this save as a new entry. So I can actually save my new progress chart and I could call it, uh, say, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Uh, tertiary. Um, Twenty fifteen. I give it some kind of name. That just a hint to me that this was my for twenty fifteen. In case I just wanted to save this chart. Um, now I've saved it. I'll click cancel and see what it's done. It's made it a third entry. Julia Roberts, Tertiary 2015, with the progressed moon at 24 Aquarius 39, progressed for October 14, 2015. Anyway, it's a, it's a feature of the time adjust that you're playing around with a chart. You can make it an entry so that you can uh, manipulate it. It's it actually more useful for some other things where you're um, picking a date that's saving in the... Uh, uh, and I've shown that in other videos... Uh, the saving of the entry is more useful in other situations. But anyway, uh, maybe I've gotten too carried away. My main point was, number one, how to select a progress to natal listing. I've shown you that. Um, fairly straightforward. You just select it. And I've also, the main thing I really wanted to show you as well is that you can go uh, here. I like to do it from the natal chart, select the natal, and do that interactive wheel. Very, very nice feature. You can go to those dates that when something is exact or any date you're interested in and see what's going on in the by wheel. Very nice feature. And for those of you who like to use time adjust, which is probably should be most of you because it's a wonderful feature, um, you may have done the same exact thing, uh, near, essentially the same exact thing that you do with the um, uh, interactive by wheel. It is actually also possible with time adjust. I just want to confirm that yes, you can do it that way as well. But most people are probably going to go here and just select by wheel animation. It's a little handier because you don't have to first uh, select a wheel. Let me show you this again. This is really nicer in a lot of ways because you just select it. Um, you can change the kind of progression. You know, I could say, oh, let me see the solar arc in this. Uh, I can change the wheel style. Um, you don't have to select a by wheel ahead of time. So and and it's intuitively obvious because you go to multi wheel and select the kind you want um, rather than having to set it up with a time adjust first. Okay, I've gotten into some, a lot of advanced features and run the risk of confusing you by covering too much material. Let's keep it simple. You want to do a progress to natal? 
chart listing, just go to forecast and select progress text listing, progress to NATO, select the kind of progression you want, select the time period you want, uh, and if you want to customize it, customize it. If you want to play around with it with a buy wheel, just go to the interactive buy wheel here and play around with it. That's it. That's it. Don't want to confuse you with too too many ideas. And what I also talked about is that there's also a time adjust way of doing it. Uh, you don't really need that. This this uh, interactive chart wheel works fine. Okay, that's it. Um, uh, thank you for listening. God bless. Namaste.